Hi, I'm Martin from Heating Solutions, and today we're going to do pressure testing this recently installed Upanor installation on Upanor Minitech. Now, before we attach a hose and a, and a wet pressure tester, we've previously filled the circuits with water, and you can see that on one of our previous videos if you want to see how we individually fill the loops one by one. So, just to recap, then, all the flow meters are open. All the caps are open on the manifold to make sure we're going to test all the loops. These isolation valves again are in a closed position and we've vented the pump of air. Now we're going to use this wet pressure tester and we can either use the gauge that's on the pressure tester or in this case I've got uh, my own little testing gauge here. It's got a three quarter BSP thread on it here and a little gauge on a flexible connection on the end of it. Great little thing. You can pick it up from most uh, plumbing and heating merchants. We're going to attach this little flexible gauge then uh, onto the return port of the manifold. Um, just a hand tightness, that's all it needs to be. And with a little key that's in the end here, we're just going to open up that return fill and vent port. And that will tell me what the pressure was that uh, was left in the system once we filled the circuits. Now, this is a hydraulic wet pressure tester. There's water in the reservoir already. And again, we're just going to attach this to the top flow port of the manifold with the washer on there and nip it up with the spanner. Open up the vent port on the top and then you can check the pressure on the gauge. And in this case, we're looking around just under two bar. Now, Upanor recommend pressure testing systems minimum four bar up to six bar. And to increase that pressure then, we're gonna use the tester. So as we increase the pressure in the system, in this case, we're gonna go up to about six bar on the reading and let it stabilize. Now, depending on what pipe you've used, whether you've used multi-layer pipe or PEX for your installation or even PERT pipe, you will get what we commonly call stabilization. And that can be affected by the, also the, uh, the ambient pressure and the temperature conditions of the, of the installation, what sort of day you're working with. So don't be surprised if you pressure test the system, take it up to your necessary pressure, um, and then it just stabilizes and drops a little bit. If it drops to zero, then yeah, we've got a bit of a problem. We need to do something about it and investigate and check all the connections. But by losing half a bar, even up to sometimes up to a bar in that first half an hour can be common. And if you have, come back, re-pressure test it or re-pressurize it to the correct pressure and just make sure it stabilizes. Once you've got stabilization, then all I would do is lock off the pressure tester. You've captured that pressure in your gauge and then you can actually depressurize and take off your pressure tester and remove it from the installation. Check your pressure again. And now we're gonna give it a minimum of an hour pressure test. And you shouldn't have any less than 0.2 of a bar drop in pressure from that minimum four bar, maximum six bar pressure test. So thanks for watching this video. Um, if you need any help or assistance with your installation, you can always pop onto YouTube and look at some of the other Upanor videos that are on there. Alternatively, you can contact Upanor at www.upanor.co.uk.